Hannah, my name is Rachel, and I love making chain and scale mail. So <laughs> I'll admit in 2020, I, I didn't really make a lot of chain and scale mail. My events were canceled. I have tons of it already made. And I just, 2020, I think for a lot of us was sort of a lost year. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think I still got some things done, but I, I didn't make as much chain and scale mail as I normally had in the past. And <laughs> so, but I've decided in 2021, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, you know, have even more piles of it laying around. <laughs> but what I did was I asked a huge order with the Ring Lord, which is where I get most of my scales and some of my um, rings, especially colored rings. For silver rings, I do tend to go with Chainmail Joe because they're, they're about the same price, but I can get these Amazon Prime, so I can get these super quick. Uh, and, and the plain silver rings are, you know, comparable, just as good. But the Ring Lord does offer a lot more colors as far as rings go. And of course, they have the best price I found anywhere on scales. Although the price of scales has gone up quite a bit. It's been a year since I placed a scale order, so I didn't notice it. And then suddenly I was like, wow, that, that was a little bit of a jump. <laughs> Here is the huge box of supplies. And I haven't done a video like this, I think, in a year. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all of my supplies that I got, and then I'm going to show you the types of pieces that I make with those supplies, and I'm going to do it in a little fashion show for you at the end of the video. So let's just get into this box. I'll show you what I got, and then we'll do the little scale mail fashion show. Looks like they split it up into three separate little bags. So I'll start with these smaller bags first. So this, this first bag is actually full of these scales now they're not actually blue scales the blue is a coating and these are silver mirrored scales they have another mirrored one where you don't have to peel off the coating <laughs> but i think maybe they were they were out of those that's why i went with these but see how shiny they are once you get that coating peeled off that's what it looks like with the coating and without so that's the first bag I can't remember how many I got, maybe a thousand. <laughs> and the second small bag are my rings. And I got a lot of rings. I got these matte purple rings and I have a bunch of different sizes. I think there's like five sixteenths and a quarter inch. Some brighter purple, two shades of green, pink and red and purple and more green more purple more purple you guys know i like the purple <laughs> more pink more purple and a bag of multicolored large rings these are the types of rings that i use for decorative detail they have some little design there along the edging so i don't actually make whole pieces out of these i just add these as extra decorative detail on jewelry and tops but I got the multicolored uh, bag so I could see what all the different colors look like. And then I can go back and order my favorite colors. And that's everything for that bag. And then the last bag is huge. I'm pretty sure this is just a bunch of scales. <laughs> so here we have black, um, black painted scales, which are in the middle. Red aluminum anodized scales. And then these are some silver... Uh, brushed scales which means they're not shiny and they have like brush lines through them <laughs> looks like the purple bag of scales was busted open and now I have purple scales everywhere <laughs> clean that up in a little bit <laughs> my purple scale bin dump them in there <laughs> purple scales <laughs> of course I have a ton all over my floor too which I'll have to clean up here shortly <laughs> and all over my lap and but as well as purple there's green and blue and at the very bottom more black these are the anodized black which are different from the painted black so i can get a scale out of here and show you the two different scales so this is a anodized aluminum black this is also aluminum but this is painted with a shiny black automotive paint so here's our two different blacks so I have a shiny one and a matte one so that's cool I'm excited for that 
I, this is the first time I've tried the black automotive painted. I've done automotive painted in white and those are my favorite for uh, when I do the alcohol inks on the scales which is something that I'll have to do a tutorial for you guys sometime in the near future. Okay, so now that you've seen all the things that I purchased, I'm gonna show you the types of things that I'm eventually gonna turn these into. So the first little set I'm showing you is this little scale mail and chain mail halter top with a matching belt. And I thought this you know, cozy long john set would be the perfect canvas to try these pieces on <laughs> but the uh, belt even though I do have this extra chain mail bit here in the front and, it, and on the back it doesn't have that matching bit you could still flip it around and still wear it as hip armor they would just be slightly different on each hip and see makes lots of noise great for belly dancing <laughs> okay so let's go try on another set and here is a little chain mail bra no scales just chain mail and a little belt which has a little pocket on it right there and the backs are usually just plain with ribbon ties I have experimented with chain ties um, and when I do make chain ties I'll throw in some rubber rings so it'll have a little bit of stretch because I was running into an issue with the chain not giving so if you had it on too tight and you twisted wrong it could snap the chain so uh, that's why I usually use ribbon ties they're just more comfortable and less likely to to snap on you but I do still occasionally make ones with chain ties around the back uh, but like I said I'll add some rubber rings in there to give it a little bit of stretch so that you do have that little bit of give but I still think the ribbon is just more comfortable but let me know what you think of these two little pieces and here we have another all chain mail piece it's just a collar with shoulder armor and this does have a adjustable band on it underneath the arm so you can tighten it to keep it from sliding around too much and that band is made uh, with a combination of rubber and regular aluminum ring so again it'll have a little bit of stretch so if you make it nice and tight you still have a little bit of stretch when you move All right, let me move on to something else. And here we have a scale mail top. This is my Black Widow top. It combines clear plastic scales up here on the top of it and then black with a red hourglass. So let's see what else we have. So I'm hoping you can still see this because I'm doing this is basically all black with some purple trim on black. <laughs> but this one has shoulder armor and a collar and I've been actually meaning to shorten the straps just a little bit they come down just a little bit too far and should be up just, just a touch more but I just haven't gotten around to that yet but there's another one now let me go try on something that that I'll know you'll be able to see better because this black on black is probably getting annoying <laughs> and here I have a little just regular chain mail with little pentagrams dangling from it in in the in between the links belt and then a blue and silver scale mail top so here are the final two pieces I'm going to show you because I feel like we've already been here a long time I don't want this video to go on forever <laughs> but these are white see that there um, shoulder armor with collar and this is something I envisioned would be really pretty with like a strapless or spaghetti strap wedding dress. I thought this would be like wedding queen's wedding armor. So got that. And then this is another um, belly dance belt. Nice and jingly. So yeah, those that's a, a bunch of stuff that <laughs> is what I make with all those supplies that I just showed you and hopefully 2021 will be really 
inspiring for me and I will make a bunch more um, I do as you can tell have a ton of it because I could I could do this all night showing you the pieces that I have I have so many in this closet and I have a bunch over here it's just oh, there's so much I have a couple bins over there <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're gonna stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my little video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can give me a thumbs down, but please leave me some constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.